this is our week review. This week we did Pear Deck, and that was a lot of fun. We did it with Matt, too. We also did a Mon Drying art piece, and it was fun because we got to mess around with the Google Sheets and like put all our colors in and stuff, and learn how to merge stuff. And, um, not real colors, of course, you can do it yourself. Um, we also had band and violin, and um, that was super fun. And not everybody did it because they didn't sign up for it, so they didn't, like they didn't want to. And we also learned about Marley Dias, a thousand black girl books, and that was a lot of fun to learn about. We also learned about Orange Shirt Day, and we're able to like create our own shirt for Orange Shirt Day. And we did. We learned about Gord Downey and a story that he made about a kid who died coming, trying to escape from residential school. There was also gym today, and we did frisbee golf, and that was a lot of fun. And that's our week. Bye. Well, some days feel so long and yet another week has flown by and it really is hard to believe that we have turned the corner into fall. Students are really getting into the routine of submitting their work in Google Classroom and are still reminded to click turn in once they have completed an assignment. This is a really essential step. Uh, the work continues to show is missing until they have clicked on this magic button. And with 25 students and daily digital assignments, it is impossible for me to stay on top of assessment and evaluation of their work unless they um, submit it. So these are skills that will serve them well right up until grade 12 as we integrate technology into more and more of the learning. Google Classroom will be the platform they'll use throughout the province right through until the end of grade 12. I am trying to send weekly updates to students and parents on Thursday nights, and this will provide you with a list of any missing work. However, it seems as though parents need a Gmail account from my research um, in order to be connected with their student and receive these reports. So I'm still looking into this, so um, stay tuned for more info. Um, and if you aren't receiving this report, ask your student to forward it to your email just as an interim measure, please, if you don't mind doing that. And um, don't fret, students do get time in class on Friday to finish up outstanding or missing assignments or something that they meet, might need my help with. So there is time on Friday to finish that, so I don't expect anyone staying up late Thursday night to get it all submitted. Um, in the last week, I've really started to see our class community uh, developing more cohesion as students get to know one another better. It's, to, it's really nice to see new friendships and bonds forming. And with the color calendar flipping to October, we will be starting to place more emphasis on curriculum and student work expectations will be increasing. While this will be a challenge after such an extended absence from school, it is important for all students to realize that while socialization is important and we will try to find as many creative collaborative learning opportunities as we can, while in class, we are here to learn and we have a lot of outcomes to cover in our year together. Um, so students are going to have to do things that they don't like to do, and I always compare it to, I don't like to clean the bathroom, but it has to be done. So I will try really hard to integrate lots of fun things into what we do, and I'm really discouraging students from uh, complaining. It's okay to you know think in your head, I don't want to do this. I don't necessarily like this. However, we really have to encourage them to use their social filter, find an outlet for those thoughts without necessarily um, having them come out their mouths. So having that positive mindset is so important when they come to school and be willing to work hard. And then when they go outside, play hard. Um, students are encouraged, um, this has been a little bit of a problem in the last week, um, they are encouraged to stay off the class digital chat and spend their recess and lunch time socializing, playing and chatting with classmates when they're outside. And certainly it's not that I discourage chatting, it's that some of that chatting is really getting in the way of the learning that has to happen in school. Um, there does seem also to be a scarcity of items for students to play with outside and uh, my partner Louie has generously, generously supplemented our equipment box with eight new balls, but alas, we had a bad day last week and lost several. 
Uh, students are welcome to bring in any balls that they would like to contribute to the classroom so long as they are making a donation to the class. Those items can't travel to and from school with them daily. Um, we would also welcome any donations of paper towels or facial tissues that you might be able to make. Not a requirement, but certainly if you have them available as a donation and you're willing to do that, we would graciously accept them. Uh, this week has also brought some interesting challenges with mask usage. We've um, certainly seen that fatigue piece with the masks start to kick in. And while I certainly understand that it is frustrating and challenging to wear masks all day, this is the expectation since we don't have the space in class to physically distance ourselves. Students are expected to remain in their desks during lunch. That's a super important time for them to be in their desks and they should also be taking home any garbage from school in their lunch bags so that they're not getting up out of their desks without their masks. So please review the importance of following these back to school guidelines from Dr. Strang with your children. He's done a really great job of limiting COVID-19 in our province and despite our fatigue and annoyance and the nuisance of having to follow these new norms, we simply must abide, abide by these guidelines. That is the expectation. A huge shout out of gratitude to all the parents and students who are staying home when sick and following the daily uh, COVID-19 screening checklist. Um, I know that's been hard on a number of our students um, and hopefully we will see the wait times start to decrease with the online assessment screening tool instead of waiting to be screened by 811. So hopefully that was a good change. Um, finally, I know many parents have been asking about homework expectations and those will be, be beginning this week. Students are expected to read for 30 minutes at home every day and should also be completing any work assignments that are due for the day and not submitted in class. If for some reason we are not able to complete an activity in the initial time I have allotted, I will extend the due date and you can access a copy of our calendar on my website and that shows a full listing of when things are due and the homework. Um, in grade six, I really want students to be developing independence and they should be able to independently complete their homework at home following instructions provided in class. If they are unable to do so for whatever reason, I want them to learn to be their own advocate and speak to me directly so that we can work and find a solution to whatever um, is the barrier for them getting their homework done. And there are lots of different barriers. Um, certainly the best course of action is for them to talk to me about it and we'll come up with a solution. And again, there are many different solutions. Um, please be sure to take some time to check out what's on the lineup for next week um, using the links below and I hope you and your family got a chance to get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather this weekend. We are so lucky in so many ways to live in Nova Scotia and a big thank you to Sarah and Gia who put together our week in a review for you. I hope you uh, enjoy their commentary and their highlights from this week. Have a great week.